come listen to my story and listen to it well i'll tell you of a great man who served his country well his name was daniel boone and he wore a coonskin hat and his clothes were made of buckskin now what do you think of that Dan was born in Pennsylvania in 1734, in colony days before the Revolutionary War. He was famous as a hunter while he was still a boy, and the hours he spent in the forest, they were his greatest joy. <coughs> Did you hear that? That was Daniel Boone with his long rifle out hunting a bear. Listen. <coughs> He got him. Daniel Boone shot that bear. That was when Daniel was only 15 years old. Yes, Daniel Boone was the greatest hunter and explorer this country ever had. Now, sometimes Dan hunted bears. And sometimes wildcats. And other times the timber wolf. Daniel Boone loved to explore, too and he was one of the first pioneers to see the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Blue Grass region of Kentucky. Oh, Daniel knew the forest, he knew the forest well, the mountains and the rivers and where the animals dwell. He was handy with a rifle and with a hunting knife, and he loved the open spaces, the cleanest kind of life. Of course, there were other dangers in the forest in those days besides wild animals. There were Indians. And one day when Daniel was exploring a cut in the mountains where Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee meet, an area known as Cumberland Gap, he knew there were Indians ahead, unfriendly Indians. Quickly, Daniel turned around and silently he cut back on his own trail, but the Indians were behind him too. Dan was surrounded. Dan fought like a wildcat, but the odds were just too great. He was captured and taken to the Indians' camp. The Indians knew Daniel's reputation, and they tied him to a tree post to prevent his escape. That night, when the Indians were asleep, Dan found a sharp piece of bark right back of where his hands were tied. Slowly and painfully, he rubbed the leather cord against the bark until at last he was free. Then, as quiet as a cat, he escaped. The Indians followed, but Daniel covered ground so fast that he left their swiftest runners behind. He covered 160 miles on foot in four days, and he met his friends, settlers from back east at Cumberland Gap. During the Revolutionary War, Dan was a major in the American Army, and his great knowledge of forestry and wood lore came in handy when he fought the British and the Indians on the British side. But he was friendly to many Indians because... Daniel was a fair man to red men and to white, and he never used his rifle unless he had to fight. He didn't like big cities, he kept on moving west, and he helped to build our country and tame the wilderness. When the Revolutionary War was over, Dan kept heading west until he made his final home in Missouri. There he would sit under a tree during the day, and settlers and Indians came to him with their problems, for he was a man of great justice and simple democracy. His tree became famous as Boone's Judgment Tree. Often Dan sat under it and remembered his old battles and adventures, and he would fondly dream of his hunting days <coughs> when he hunted the big bear and the savage wildcat and the wild timber wolf. And now you've heard my story, there is no more to tell. The story of Daniel Boone, who served his country well. His clothes were made of buckskin and he wore a coonskin hat. A democratic pioneer, I hope you'll remember that.